Thank you for purchasing The Hangman by Talon Industries. Over the next few minutes, we will cover topics including assembly, usage, and tips for best practices. Let's start by opening the box and verifying that you have all the proper parts. Your box should include instructions, the hangman, a paint can ring, and underneath the flap you'll find a small package which includes two screws, two washers, and an Allen wrench. If you are missing parts or have questions, please refer to our website at talentindustries.com before continuing. First, let's go over the important parts of the hangman. Adjacent to the black handle is the ladder input shaft. This part inserts into an open rung, securing the hangman to your ladder. The input shaft locks into the ladder rung with our patented riser mechanism, which locks and releases the hangman from the ladder. To operate, simply turn the black handle either clockwise to raise and lock, or counterclockwise to lower and release. Next. At the opposite end of the hangman is an articulating arm. This arm rotates 360 degrees to accommodate a variety of working conditions. The arm also provides an additional hanging surface for certain types of heavy tools. Note that both the input shaft and the articulating arm have a pin and secure rotational locking holes. When locking either the input shaft or the articulating arm into place, always assure the pin is seated into any one of the rotational locking holes prior to tightening. Looking at the articulating arm, you will see two holes that will be used to secure the paint can ring to the hangman. We'll cover that later. The hangman's hook adjusts 360 degrees and locks into position automatically. To adjust, simply lift and snap into your desired position. You can use the hangman to secure nailers, saws, drills, paint cans, small tools and more, up to a surprising 35 pounds. Just be sure to have someone hand you the load while you're already in place on your ladder. The hangman comes fully assembled from the factory. All you need to do is add the included paint can ring with the two screws and washers provided. If you aren't planning on using the paint can ring, you can skip this step. The paint can ring can be attached to either side of the articulating arm. Typically, left-handed users will attach the paint can ring to the left side of the ladder, while right-handed users are more comfortable using the hangman on the right. In either position, it's best to secure the paint can ring so that it's facing you with the arm extended outward. This will give you the greatest range of motion and the most flexibility when hanging multiple items. The most important rule of thumb is that you must always maintain three points of contact while on a ladder. Never climb your ladder with the hangman or any other tool or object in hand. Start your project by securing the hangman to your ladder while the ladder is on the ground. Many users find that they are most comfortable using the hangman two rungs from the extension. Insert the input shaft of the hangman into your desired ladder rung. To be sure that the hangman is fully locked, insert a screwdriver into the hole on the handle and apply a quarter turn clockwise. Don't over tighten as you may damage the ladder. You are now ready to set the ladder and begin your project. If you have a second hangman, secure it and lock it into the adjacent side of the ladder in the same way. A second hangman will allow you to place a 1x6 board across both units to create a secure workspace for a multitude of different types of tools simultaneously. Another rule of safety is to never leave tools mounted on the hangman while unattended. Thanks for watching. Should you have any questions, please visit talentindustries.com.